Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a retro text effect in Gravity Designer. The main advantage of this effect is that you can create it once and apply it again and again via shared style. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. So let's get started with retro text effect here in Gravity Designer. So I am now in Gravity Designer 1920 by 1080 new document and I'm gonna grab type 2 and type retro and let's change the typeface, navigate to your typeface, web fonts and type Holdwood. I'm gonna apply it here, it's a very nice slab serif font and let's change the size of this typeface to 300. I also want to apply auto sizing here and let's change the color of this font to this hexadecimal value 9b 2525 looks very nice uh, let's add some borders here clicking on this plus sign I'm gonna navigate to white and increase the border weight to 8 pixels and now I'm gonna apply three effects in order to convert it to retro. First effect is called Lone Shadow. So go to the More, Shadow, Lone Shadow. Click on this fade slider to disable the fade. Set the opacity to 100%. Set the length of your Lone Shadow to 50. And change the color first to the fill. And let's make it less bright. This is looks very nice. Now I'm gonna add some noise. So go to the more adjust noise. I'm gonna set it to 0.15 and click on this bullet near the airball icon. And from drop down menu, apply it only to fill. Very nice. Now let's add in a shadow. And from this X value, I'm gonna set it to 4, Y value to 8, decrease the blur to 2, and add some opacity, make it more opaque to 85%. And now it looks way off because we need to apply it only to fill. So again, from this bullet, set it to only to the fill and now let's make a duplicate of this text holding alt key and uh, i'm gonna uh, also add this treatment with these dots so in order to do that first let delete our noise effect click on this trash can go to the more and navigate to artistic dot screen uh, dot screen works only on black and white, but I'm gonna show you how to change its color uh, for a while. Uh, first, let's set a size of this effect to 5 pixels. And navigate to color of your text. And as you can see, brightness affects the visibility of the dots. And the size of this dot and I want to decrease the brightness a bit to make this uh, uh, effect less prominent and last but not least let's go to the more adjust color grading and from this drop down menu I'm gonna set this them Lord Kelvin and it's add beautiful retro coloring to this uh, effect and if you need a faster control on your colors, you need to go to the more, adjust and color adjust. And now you can control, have control over the saturation and over the hue of this effect. Looks very nice. At la now let's create a shared style so we can apply it to any typeface we want. So go to the style, new shared style. I'm gonna name it with retro and disable this text if you want to share it 
with other typefaces. Uncheck these tabs and click Create. And now let's change, create another type design. I'm gonna size it with 60 pixels and I change the font. I'm gonna set it to Academic M54. And for this typeface, I'm gonna navigate to the retro and apply retro effect. Now it looks way off because we need to increase first. I wanna apply to auto. And next we need to change the color of our text because as I mentioned earlier, color affects the brightness, affects the size and visibility of your dots. So, and this is how you can create adjustable live retro text effect in Gravity Designer. If you enjoyed this tutorial, do, do not hesitate to give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day.